This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Pebble Heart. This design is stitched by first starting with a long narrow teardrop shape. Then you're going to go inside of that teardrop and fill it with pebbles. This is feeling very similarly to pebbled paisley. It starts basically the same way or very similar way, um, but this is going to be kind of different with the second step of the design. So if you wanted kind of an easier version, you might want to try pebbled paisley or pebbled loop uh, for a different version of basically the same elements. So now to create the heart shape, I just started at that tip and worked, uh, stitched back down to the beginning, the starting point, and then back up. And so I'm bouncing up and around and back to that point, pivoting and bouncing back up and around to create that nice heart shape. This is not a heart that's going to really, you know, like jump out at you and say, yay, I'm a heart. It's subtle. You know, it's not, it's not really obvious that this is a heart shape, but you could, of course, make it more uh, stand out a little bit better if you wanted to by expanding those lines of quilting, by making that, those, uh, those kind of nice uh, bubble areas of the heart stand out a little bit better. When you finish one shape and you have it where you want it to, to be, just simply travel stitch and branch off with a new teardrop shape, fill it with circles or pebbling, and then branch off from that ending tip back to your starting point and then back up and around. The inspiration for this design really came from pebbled paisley because whenever you create pebbled paisley you end up at that end, uh, at the end of the long uh, narrow teardrop shape and you have to travel stitch all the way back to the beginning to pivot and echo. So I just figured well what would happen if you just simply started your echoes from the tip of the teardrop. And when I started working on it and building it up I looked at it and said well that looks kind of like a heart shape. And that's how this design was created. You're gonna have some weird areas like this area in here. You saw me just fill that in. Best thing to do in those areas is just simply fill it with some lines, um, uh, just echoing lines, just back and forth lines that kind of go along with the rest of the design that are slightly curved and that will keep it nice and consistent. So here's what it looks like whenever you've stitched a good bit of pebbled heart into this design and you can see that right now I'm actually splitting a design in half. I'm only stitching half of it because I've got this kind of weird area that needs to be filled in evenly and consistently. That's one trick about this design. This is a little difficult to squeeze into tight areas simply because uh, the first loop is quite large and then the subsequent uh, echoes kind of want to expand and get pretty big. So it's one of those designs that's going to work best in more open, uncomplicated areas of your quilt where it has more than enough room to kind of stretch out and stand out on the surface. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Pebbled Heart. Discover many designs on free motion quilting, including the two designs mentioned in this video, Pebbled Loop and Pebbled Paisley, at freemotionproject.com.